a regression cycle? Yes. At this point, some of you guys may be asking me, what is regression? Well, for that, we have to go to this very amazing image that I drew. Check it out. So awesome, right? Just kidding. It's not so awesome, but I think it conveys a very clear picture in regards to what a regression is. So a regression suite is something that retests the features that were previously tested. If you guys look at this cycle right here, this line in red, and envision it just as time, right? This is just time going by. Day, day, more days, more days going by, weeks going by, months going by, years going by, and so on. This is time. And if we start over here in the center with the development of our first feature, then we move on to test after some time. And after our testing efforts, we release feature one with three test cases to production. In the next sprint, we pick up another feature. We do development, we do test, and we release feature two with three more test cases. There may be more or less, doesn't matter. This is just for example. And so this continues. We pick up another feature, we test it, we release it. We pick up another feature, we test it, we release it. And you guys can see how this cycle just keeps going and going round right and we just keep picking up more features keep developing keep testing keep creating more test cases and then releasing stuff to production now after we finish this very first feature and we have arrived at this second testing cycle you now assuming it's the same functionality, the same application. In our case, it's qtptutorial.net, which it is. We now have to retest this first feature. And why? Because when developers go back to modify their code, to add something to it, to change something to it, there is a possibility that they may break this feature that was tested previously. I don't care if they write one line of code. If they write one comment, yes, there is a possibility that developers can break the feature. I've seen it so many times. Developers are so confident, barging in the room, saying, I wrote one line of code. We don't need to do regression testing on that. It's not going to break anything. And then, boom, bugs appear in the application as a result of their code change. So never let a developer stop you from doing regression testing. If the code has been touched that affects your application, it needs to have regression testing. And that's where the regression suite comes in because you guys can see how whenever you come at this phase, you need to test, retest all of these test cases. Whenever you come to the third testing cycle, you need to retest feature two and feature one and your new feature. When you're at the fourth feature cycle, you have to retest feature three, feature two, and feature one, along with your new feature. So is that crazy? Because you still here have one week to test this feature. But instead of testing three test cases, like you had to do here for feature one, you now have to test three, six, nine, 12 test cases for feature four. It is so unfair, right? And that's where the regression suite comes in and it's automated. And when you have the automated tests added to your regression suite, that regression suite can run anytime you tell it to. And so here, instead of worrying about rerunning all of these test cases manually, you run your regression suite that has those automated tests, these test cases in here, it has them. It will run those test cases. It will verify that the functionality works. And all you have to do is worry about creating new tests for your new feature. Every single sprint, 
yes, the regression suite will grow larger. It will grow heftier. But you shall not worry because when you learn how to create a proper regression suite after I'm done with you, your regression suite will be like the documentation for your test cases that will live on forever.